Okay, here we go. It's 1201. It's Thursday. Uh, we're going to do 15 minutes of positivity practicing uh, thankfulness and, and uh, gratitude today. And so my particular spin on this theme today is the following. So there's a last time for everything and not to get too morbid or heavy about this. Um, I think it's, it's a really helpful mindset to approach whatever it is that we're doing and imagining, you know, just playing the thought experiment that what if this was the last time that I walked up this flight of stairs or opened this door? What if this, the, you know, the last time I turned on the stove in and cooked a meal? There's something about that that's that that automatically stimulates a preciousness and a sense of gratitude that I think is really uh, relevant and a, and a really good good practice. So, um, as as we age, as time goes by, I'll just read you some of these things that I wrote down here. There comes a last time for everything. So the last time you'll cancel a coffee date with a friend. Last time you'll hear a song that you love. Last time you'll eat a meal that was slightly overcooked and might have annoyed you or felt embarrassing because you were the cook. Last time you'll hug your child. Um, last time you'll get up at 3 a.m. to change your baby's diapers. You know, I have two kids. I love them both very much. And it's it, it's a really sad experience where I realized like, I don't actually remember the last time I changed their diapers because at the time, I'm sure I was so wrapped up in feeling tired and feeling slightly annoyed, feeling slightly overwhelmed that I was missing that entire possibility that, you know what, this is actually the last time that you're going to be changing your daughter's diapers. There it is. So the last time you get a call from your friend complaining about their spouse, as annoying as it might feel in that moment, there's also something really precious about, you know, imagine you were actually aware of the fact that this was the last time that this was going to happen. The last time you laughed nervously at an inappropriate Norm MacDonald joke. I'm a, I'm a fan of inappropriate Norm MacDonald jokes. And I also realize, you know, there, there, there will come the day where, yeah, that's the last one that I actually chuckled at out loud. The last time you'll notice the pain in your knee as you take that big step on your morning hike. So those annoying things we look at and say, oh, this really sucks or my life is, is a pain right now. There's also something really precious about being aware in that moment that, Oh wow, this is this is happening. The fact that I get to experience this pain in my knee, there's something wonderful and precious about that. The last time you'll laugh, the last time you'll cry, and ultimately the last time you'll breathe. Um, this is true for every single one of us. And so the theme for today is this idea of using this awareness that there's a last time for everything. And using that as a stepping stone into gratitude in this moment for whatever it is that we do have. And a quick reminder, as we do this, I know I keep showing this video because I, I just think it's so, so cool, this time lapse of what's actually happening on a neurologic level. And just trying to reinforce or remind ourselves of the fact that Whenever we do these practices that we that we do on a daily basis, um, they're not just esoteric, random, uh, you know, activities that we're doing. We're actually stimulating some really foundational neurochemistry and neurobiology. And when we have that subjective experience of what it's like to feel gratitude, as I hope we I, you know we'll be able to stimulate today there's all kinds of stuff that's actually happening between our ears that is really, really important, really meaningful. And, uh, and it matters. It works. So without further ado, let's, let's see if we can practice gratitude from the vantage point of the last time. So start by closing your eyes. As we always do in these sessions, 
Let's begin by exiting our tendency for time travel. So let's exit the past, let's exit the future and enter the present moment. Maybe you're sitting in your car, maybe you're sitting in a chair at home, maybe you're sitting on the floor or even standing, it really doesn't matter. The point being is focus first on your contact with the ground. However, your organism is being pulled downward by gravity and is making contact with the ground. I want you to notice that. Because that is happening right now. Whatever sensations you're experiencing, if you need to wiggle your toes or shift your body around in your seat, do whatever it takes to reinforce this awareness that you are right here, right now. There's no other way for you to be other than in contact with the ground. And just notice. This is happening now. And then notice that you're in a body that's breathing. None of us can be on this call without a body that's breathing. And the magical piece of awareness there in this moment is that the body's just breathing. You aren't breathing, the body's breathing. It's just doing it on its own. And your kidneys are filtering blood and your heart is pumping blood and your brain is thinking and your liver is secreting enzymes and stomach is digesting food. There's all these magical things that are all happening without us doing a thing. We can just notice. And that's the first doorway into gratitude in this moment is realizing this is all happening for us. Whoever the us is that is able to notice that all of these organs are doing their magical processes all the time, our benefit. Just take a moment and realize that this will not go on forever. But it's happening right now, and that's pretty cool. We're quite lucky. Now, maybe bring to mind a memory of the last shower or the last bath that you took. Noticing the hot water. Return these magical knobs in our, in our bathrooms and the walls. And the stream of hot water just flows out of the wall. Just take a second to feel the specialness of that gratitude. Because there are plenty of people on planet Earth right now, if you look at the news, that probably weren't aware of the 
the last time, quote unquote, when they were going to get to experience that before their house was shelled or bombed or destroyed or whatever happened. And, oh, that was the last time I was able to take a, a hot shower in peace. Or enjoy a hot meal. Or enjoy just a few minutes of quiet, safe space, safe, quiet. that person that you love and care about that you had a mediocre or even challenging last interaction with there's a there's a beauty in that and it can also be a, a stimulus or a catalyst to say oh, i'd like to do better next time I get the, if grace gives me a next time, I intend to do better because I'm grateful for this person and for the connection. Here's one that might be pushing, pushing the envelope a little bit, but I, I sincerely mean this. What about taking out the garbage? What if that was the last time, next time you take out the garbage, if you can imagine yourself rolling the bin to the curb, it's filled to the brim, maybe it's even raining again and you're getting a little bit wet and you're slightly annoyed. But how would things change if you actually knew for a fact this is the last time ever in my human experience that I'm going to be taking out the garbage. Just sit with that for a second. We're running out of time for today's session, so I'm going to close, but just a quick reminder that this, this idea of paying attention to what you're doing and imagining this being the last time that you're doing it can be a really beautiful gateway into gratitude in the present moment. Go ahead and take a deep breath in. Exhale all the way. And then hold that exhale for five, four, three, two, one. Let's do that one more time. Inhale. Exhale all the way. Hold. Five. Four, three, two, one. 
And open your eyes and let your breath return to normal. So two things we just practiced there. One is playing this thought experiment of what if this thing that I just did was the last time I got to do it, how would I do that differently? Or how would I reframe my, my relationship to it? And then the last piece was the breathing. You know, the reason we hold the breath at the very end at the exhale or the inhale is because it slows things down. It stimulates the parasympathetic nervous system. Again, something we can do all day long in stealth mode or whenever, whenever you want. So hope that was helpful. See you all tomorrow, hopefully, and uh, be well. Thank you.